Adolf Hitler was, without a doubt, one of the most aberrant characters in history. Millions of people died because of him and, almost 80 years after the end of World War II, the consequences of his crimes are still visible. This is why it is important to know in depth the life of the Nazi dictator, since it allows us to understand his personality and his decisions, which affected the lives of so many people. Today, in this new episode of Military History, we'll tell you 11 things you didn't know about Hitler's life. Let's get started. 1. Hitler's father was an Austrian government official named Alois. In 1876 he was married to his second wife, but this did not prevent him from starting an extramarital affair with his maid, Clara. The romance becomes even more scandalous when you consider that this woman was also his cousin. After the death of his wife, Alois married Clara, who had become pregnant. His son, whom they named Adolf, was destined to commit the greatest atrocities in history. There is no doubt that the monster's father had a great influence on him since Alois was a tough man with a bad character who had a habit of beating his family. 2. The square mustache is definitely the most remembered aesthetic detail of the Fuhrer. What few know is that, for many years, Hitler used a long mustache, typical of the time. It was only in the First World War when he changed his image, after it was suggested to him by Alexander Frey, a soldier who fought alongside him. The reason was that, with such a bushy mustache, Hitler could not put on his gas mask correctly, and this made him an easy target for the mustard gas used by the British. Years later, when his press secretary advised him to shave, the Nazi leader responded, don't worry. If it is not fashionable now, it will be later, because I use it. 3. As a young man, Hitler was a chain smoker, but over time this would change completely. He became a strict enemy of tobacco, which he called the revenge of the Native Americans against the white man who gave them the liquor. He forbade Christmas baskets given to soldiers of the Third Reich to include cigarettes. Instead, he ordered that they be replaced with treats. Although he considered the possibility of preventing the use of nicotine in the manufacture of cigarettes, this was never implemented. 4. It is surprising that, in 1939, Hitler was a candidate for the Nobel Peace Prize. The one who nominated him was the Swedish legislator Erik Brandt, who affirmed that the Nazi leader deserved it based on his ardent love for peace. This sparked a nationwide scandal and a barrage of criticism of Brandt for running for a war-obsessed dictator. The legislator, however, clarified that it had been an irony and a way of protesting against the appointment of Neville Chamberlain as British Prime Minister, who a year earlier had agreed to hand over Czechoslovakia to the Germans. 5. A widespread legend among the Allies claimed that Hitler lacked a testicle. This may be based on the Fuhrer's participation in the First World War, between 1914 and 1918, in which he was wounded twice. On one of those occasions he was temporarily blinded by a mustard gas attack and on another he was injured by a grenade which may have mutilated his genitalia. However, this is not confirmed, and sometime later, a Russian journalist revealed that the Nazi leader's corpse had an underdeveloped testicle due to a genetic condition. 6. All the people who knew him affirmed that the Fuhrer had an amazing ability to deliver speeches. Hitler could talk for hours on end, delivering wild, passionate sermons that drove his followers mad. The truth is that these acts were rehearsed down to the smallest detail, since the dictator practiced his gestures and his tone of voice. He even used to photograph himself while he was doing it. Although he ordered the images destroyed, his photographer, Heinrich Hoffmann, refused and decided to keep them. 7. Hitler was obsessed with maintaining a healthy diet because, in his youth, he suffered from severe stomach pains. He became a vegetarian to avoid digestive problems, and only ate dishes such as rice, salads, pasta, asparagus, or peas. In wartime, the dictator employed professional tasters, whose job it was to taste food to make sure it wasn't poisoned. 8. Germany adopted the swastika as its insignia, but the truth is that its history is much older than the Third Reich. Originally, it was a religious symbol present in some Asian cultures, but in 1920 it was declared as the official emblem of the Nazi party. Hitler rotated it 45 degrees and gave it three colors that represented the ideals of his movement. Red was social, white was national, and black was anti-Semitism. 
At the same time, these were the colors of the flag of the old Germanic Empire, so the Fuhrer, by using these hues, indicated to his followers that they would restore the glory of Germany together. 9. Hitler was careful not to show himself in public with women, as he feared his popularity would decline if his romantic relationships came to light. However, he was captivated by Eva Braun, a 17-year-old girl who worked as an assistant to the dictator's personal photographer. They met in Munich and began to see each other frequently from 1931. Braun was so obsessed with the Führer that she tried to commit suicide twice to reproach him for not caring about her. The couple married in 1945, just 40 hours before they decided to take their own lives to avoid being caught by the Allies. In any case, the relationship was never public, and the Germans did not know about it until the end of the war. 10. The Nazi leader had a dark and controversial relationship with his niece, Jelly Robel. The young Austrian was the daughter of his half-sister, and in 1929, after enrolling to study medicine, she moved into Hitler's house. As the months went by, her life became hell, since the Fuhrer controlled her down to the smallest detail and did not allow her to do anything without his permission. She could not leave her home without being accompanied by her guardians, and she was even forced to end an affair with her driver. In 1931, Jelly Robel was found shot in the chest, just as her uncle was on a trip. The shot was from Hitler's pistol, and, although it was said to be a suicide, the circumstances of the event were never clarified. 11. Throughout his life, the Fuhrer was the victim of 42 assassination attempts, although all of them were unsuccessful. This was because Hitler used to be surrounded by dozens of security guards who kept a tight watch on those around him. On the other hand, the dictator took the precaution of altering his daily routine, lengthening or shortening his time spent in public places. However, one of the attacks came close to ending his life. In 1944, Colonel Klaus von Stauffenberg, fed up with the war, placed a bomb at the Führer's feet. The terrible explosion left wounded and dead, but Hitler himself suffered only a few scratches and damaged eardrums. What do you think is the most surprising fact about Hitler's life? Leave your answer in the comment box below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about many more military events that left their mark on history.